Podcast. Coming to you live from the Contaminated Dungeon, it's Max the Animal and Nikki Snacks here on Bagels and Locks. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Bagels and Locks. It's season three, and I am your champion, Champion Sharp, Max the Animal. I got my uh, partner over here, Mr. Nikki Snacks. Me. And we will be giving you our best bets for week one. Week one NFL season. If you're unfamiliar to the show, if this is your first time, welcome. Really quick rundown for the new season to get you uh, acclimated to the show's programming. Yeah. We're going to give you our three best bets for the upcoming week's football games. And uh, a little a, a new twist this year. What's what's the twist? Yeah, uh, we, we got a prop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Normally we do a big dog pick. We haven't decided if we're not going to do it. If we're going to do it, we don't know yet. It's week one. But we're going to be giving you a uh, player prop courtesy of Underdog Fantasy. Uh, promo code BEG. So you can go check that out. Download the app. <sighs> I got chills. I'm out of breath again. I, well, you're, you're a f- I, slob. I promised so. myself I would get in shape. Like, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah what, what happened? I don't know. It happens, dude. You just, you know. Um, all right. Week you know, one. You know what's crazy? I'm probably in just as worse shape as you, and I weigh 800 pounds less. It's nuts. Anyway, I think 800 is a uh, stretch. Yeah, 750. All right, are we ready to get the season started? Can't wait. I said, are we ready to get the season started? think we're ready all right week one football eagles at falcons my first pick over 48 and a half that's it we're going right to it (sighs) over 48 and a half eagles at falcons i'm an over guy we know that we know that we know that we know that life's too short to do what to bet the under here's what i'm gonna do here's what i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you a little secret there's no defense in this game the eagles they don't have a defense. The Falcons, they kind of have a defense, but then they never have a defense. Like, the, you're like, oh, the Falcons' defense looks solid, and then they just don't have a defense. So here's what's going to happen. You know that every year they have that Madden glitch, and you start the game, then you go to the field, and then there's just no players on the field on defense. They're just like, they're all invisible. That's what this game is going to look like. There's going to be no one on the defense. They're all going to be birds. It's a bunch of birds out there. We got, we got Eagles. We got Falcons. They're going to be flying around, flying around, just all over the place. I'm going off a rail here. But here's the the one thing I do want to say. The secondary for Philly, who are they? It's just a bunch of ghosts. Oh, they got Darius who, Slay. No, no. They got fucking uh, Casper, Stinky, Fatso, and Stretch. Oh, <laughs> wow. Fatso, you, you're playing on Sunday? You're playing right. tonight? Anyway. Uh, I'm sorry. That's too fat, Joe. I'm sorry. No, I, I'm I, sorry. Listen, I'm going to make a promise. I'm going to lose some weight before the season's over. I believe you. I've ne- Honestly, I've never seen somebody gain or lose weight like you in no, my life. It's crazy. it's crazy. All right, so. Nice pick. I like that. Over four and a half equals Falcons. I like that. Very nice. See, Animal, what color is my hair? If you had to take a guess. Re- uh, it's reddish orange. It's reddish orange, right? Now, there, there's a quarterback... That used to play in our neck of the woods. His name is Sam Darnold. What color is his hair? It is also reddish, reddish orange. It's also reddish orange. The Jets, who was dra- he was drafted by, they kicked him to the curb. We said, nope, we want the Mormon from BYU who's never had sex. He looks, he literally looks Whoa. like a little frat boy. I'm sorry, I mean, it's true. Mormons don't have sex till they're married. Isn't that a, isn't that a thing? You, you don't know this, that. This Carolina Panthers team is not very good. However, you know which team is worse? The New York Jets, this is a revenge game. Sam Darnold at home, the New York Jets. I know a friend that's going to the game, and he's one of the biggest mushes I know, and he's a Jets fan. So this is an easy smash for me. Panthers, minus three and a half at home against the New York Jets. Sam Darnold's going to lush. He's going to put his fingers through that luscious red hair and dominate his piss-poor, disgusting, pathetic excuse of a former team. Panthers, minus three and a half. Uh, revenge so, game. I, I was just going to say, revenge game. You cannot go wrong when betting a revenge game. It's the, one of those things I feel where, like it's undefeated. Yeah, these are, this is, listen, the show is called Bagels and Locks, and revenge games are locks always. And you locks. know what's great about revenge games? If you really dig deep, you can probably find one in every game. So Literally, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, that's what's great. The narrative is always there, so you always have the comfort knowing that you have a lock in your pocket. Always. Wow. <sighs> 
in the pocket. I'm out of breath again. All right, this is concerned. I'm a little concerned. Might need to do some CPR image. Yeah, I'm like, well, you're shit out of luck here. I All barely right. know how to add. So, pick let, number two. Let alone do CPR. I'm going with another over. Oh and boy! Listen, you're like, oh, animal. It's week one. Like, give us a real pick. Give us the spreads. You thought you were sharp. I am a sharp. You know why? You see this? This is the golden wire. This is the golden wire of the champion of the sharp. See why I have a gold wire? Why is mine black? Because you haven't won a damn season yet. And the two times I should have two wires. I should get two mics. Yeah, but I'm not dead. I don't want my shit that's, black. That's that's. that's Yes, that's how it works. Until you can beat me, you get the gold wire. Just <laughs> added that this season. That's what we do on the show. We just expand and progress. But anyway, back to the over. Vikings at Bengals. Over 46 and a half. This is a very low total for week one when defense is, you know, listen, the Bengals defense ain't that bad. They got a couple good guys in the secondary. But here's the deal. Here's the deal. My man Kirk Cousins is coming to town. Oh, you can't even say it with a straight face. <laughs> I, I do like Kirk. He slept on. But here's what was really going to happen. He doesn't get slept with. We're going, I go back to these, you know, we're thinking, all right, we've got Vikings, fierce warriors in, in droves. There's a lot of them. They fucking storm. And then there's like bangles. It's probably like seven bangles. Like how many bangles are in a fan? Like tigers? Not a lot, right? So they're going to come in. The Vikings are going to, uh, hold on, Ike, I need you to bleep this word out. The Vikings are going to, actually, Ike, I need you to also, I need you to bleep this word out and cover my mouth so that no one can read my mouth and know what I say. You may, you're putting Ike to the test, though, right? You know what I mean? Ike, if you don't do this, I am f***ed. You're canceled? Yes. <laughs> All right. Ike, keep it The in. Vikings are going to and pillage, leaving Cincinnati with tiger belts. <laughs> All right. So now that you have no idea what I just said, the over is obviously the play here. With 46 and a half, Vikings are going to score at least three to four touchdowns. And don't sleep on Joe Burrow in garbage time. So there we go. Uh, okay. Ike, I, Ike, trusting you, man. Oh, my God. Okay, that was that was incredible. Um, Yeah, it's a, it's a good pick. I just, uh, what you, I wish, I wish the audience could hear it. But in a uh, way, I'm glad they can. They have no idea. They have no idea. Thank God. Uh, well, I'm going to stay away from the totals, and I'm going to go back to another spread. It's a, a similar spread. And you know what? I For for I, August 25th, 26th, I went up to Foxborough, Massachusetts, and I watched the Giants-Patriots practice. And I came away extremely impressed with Mac Jones and the Patriots overall. I, for whatever reason, I know the Dolphins won 10 games last year, but for whatever reason, this offseason, it's been kind of weird. Don't, I'm not, don't do I it. am not in on the don't, Dolphins don't at don't all. Do it, girl. I'm going to take the Patriots Ooh. minus three. I'm taking Bill Belichick to figure out how to destroy Alabama, former Alabama quarterback, Tua Tagalulu Shimoloa, and his Alabama quarterback, Mac Jones, is going to step up. Right away, oh week my one, God. come in. He's going to come right in, win a football game by seven points. It's a division game. It's in Foxborough. Three points, that's it? You're saying on a neutral field, the Patriots, it's a pick em. The Patriots are a better football team. They're better coached. Their quarterback is better, and I only saw a little snippet of Mac Jones. Patriots, minus three. So are you saying that this is a Mac Jones revenge game? This? Is that what I hear? This. Another revenge game? This is a Mac Jones revenge game because Tua Schlagamagalo or whatever at Alabama was stealing his shine. It's was stealing Valoa. his shine. Tug so Valoa. he's going to go. It's what? Tua Tug of Aloha? Really Tua awesome. Tug of Aloha. That's definitely wrong. Let, Mac Jones was a saying. better quarterback than Tua Tug of or whatever in Alabama. This is revenge. He's going to go out and prove it. Nick Saban watching? Trust me. Patriots. Minus three. All right, interesting. I actually love the Dolphins because Brian oh, Flores. Now I feel even better. Brian, Brian Flores with the defense, the plus three. Brian, They're gonna, Brian Flores with the defense, and then you're not going to sit there and say, Bill Belichick with the defense. Yeah, but I'm just saying that Brian Flores, like Mac Jones is probably going to be easier to stop. Whatever, listen, it's your picks, whatever. Yeah, it's my pick. Patriots minus three. They All went right. by seven. Whatever, that's fine. All right, so normally right now we would do the big dog pick of the week. We do not have one right now. Actually, we might, but I, I don't know. Um, well, you you know what? You mother. You never send any in, so how are we going to so expect we'll, you guys to do it this put year? Put in the comments if you want to do the big dog picks this year. If not, we're going to continue with this segment anyway. And you're not mother so, by the way. You're great listeners. Thank you for listening and watching. All right, let's uh, take it away to us. All right, so we got the underdog player prop. Actually, no, let's call this. Hold on. Ike, leave this, but cut it. Um, let's call it the, the underdog play of the day brought to you by... 
Max and Snacks. <laughs> what about Snacks and Max? Or Animal and Snacks. Snacks and Animal. Yeah. Animals, Snacks. Want to use our, our actual names? No. Max and Nick? No. My pick is Daniel Jones, 15 and a half. Nope. Uh, Daniel, my pick is Daniel Jones, 15.45 fantasy points. I'm taking the under. Wow. That's really cool. I'm going to stick with fantasy points as well. I'm going to go Matt Ryan over 19.25 fantasy points for their game at home against the Philadelphia Eagles. Scum City. Wow, that's amazing. So you can combine these two picks for a 3x multiplier. If, if you... If you Bet ten dollars, you'll win thirty. Huge. You know what you could do with thirty bucks? <laughs> you could win thirty dollars. Promo code BDG. Sign up at underdogfantasy.com or download the app and use promo code BDGE. Do it. All right. Wow, that was pretty cool. I love that promo, Big Dog. Uh, Whoever BDGE, thought of that? Genius, underdog man. Fantasy. What a collab. Genius. All right, but now. Oh, did you hear that sound? No. Is that what we do? Is that a go? Yo, did you hear that sound? No, I still am here. I forgot if that's what we actually do, though. Did I say something else? It's nope, time that's for the. What you, that's, oh. what you hear. No, that's what you hear. Oh, that means it's time for the big lock. It's the same. I, I, I just little duct tape. Little duct tape. Uh, missed a spot. That's what. Yeah, I it's a pretty, big, right. pretty big spot. Yeah. It's time for the big locks. We got two for you, one from me, one from Snacks. I'm going to start it off. And if you haven't seen, I already have a Broncos jersey on, and I was insinuating before uh, the show started. Here's the pick. Broncos at New York Giants, minus three. You're getting plus 100 odds on this at FanDuel, I think. Uh Broncos are going to kill him. We have such a good defense. Our defense is just really good. And Snacks is in denial about Daniel Jones. He's not good. As you know, I took the That's under. That's not true. Hey, listen, this is my big lock. You can speak after. I have on my card defense, defense, defense. Wide receivers. Who's covering them? You got Jerry Judy. All right, whatever. You say James Bradbury. Cool. Corlin Sutton. Who's covering him? Dory Jackson. Doesn't matter. Guess what? KJ Hamler, he's fast. Xavier McKinn. Hold my mic, please. Uh. So, this is what we're going to do to the Giants. We're going to take them. We're gonna take them and we're gonna fry them. We're gonna French fry the Giants. We're gonna run the ball real hard. Lots of defense. Minus three. Broncos. Minus three. In Giants Stadium. I'm also gonna be at the game. So that's good luck. And we're gonna smash them. I'm gonna be hammered. Uh, go Broncos. I mean, you know. All right, I, I'm just going to do it. I, f*** this. I don't give a shit. So this happens once every four years. My big lock is Giants plus three at home. I'll be at the f game. F you. No, I don't give a shit. I'm going to do it. What's I'm your gonna real do pick, it. though? My real pick is actually Houston-Jacksonville over 44 and a half, and that's what I'm going to go with. I'm not going to take the Giants plus three. I'm don't sorry. Don't do it. Don't I'm be kidding. emotional on I'm this not show. Do it. I, I, I got there. I was this you close. easy is to get his head, close. though? It's, what a it's so easy. It's so damn easy. I will say one thing. We're going to have a great time today. What a we're going to have a great time today. I don't know. I'm not going to do it because I don't bet on my team. Although I have like 100 million times. Oh, by the way, you can parlay all my picks for plus 590. Oh, nice. Mine's plus 586, though. Oh, because plus 100 on your. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Okay. So I am taking Houston, Jacksonville over 44 and a half. Houston is atrocious everywhere. Uh, their defense is terrible. But I do think they will score. 17 to 20 points, and I think Jacksonville I think Jacksonville kind of comes out firing. I think it's kind of a high-scoring game. It's one of those games where you're like, these teams are so bad, how are they going to score? I'm thinking the opposite. These teams are so bad, they're going to score. Trevor Lawrence looked pretty damn good in the preseason. Tyrod Taylor is a professional. The Jaguars' defense is atrocious. Houston's defense is atrocious. We're going Houston, Jacksonville, over 44 and a half. I love it. I love it. I love it. Parlay. 
plus 586 on FanDuel is where I got those odds. And that's my big lock of the week. Also, real quick before you take us out, we are looking for suggestions for the, pun- for the punishment. Uh, whoever loses this year, we usually ask you guys like week eight because we're be f-ing idiots and we always forget. But <laughs> drop comments below what the loser should do, whoever loses. And we will take it into consideration and have an announcement next week on the punishment for the loser. Good luck on all your bets. F*** the Cowboys. And Eagles. I forgot what I usually say and for, Washington football for the uh, outro. But uh, thanks for watching. That's the show. Uh, drop a comment. You're lock. And uh, I'm a sharp. And <laughs> Bagels and locks, baby. Yeah.